Hello everyone, I hope you're doing good. <laughs> I'm doing fine. Um, I'm back again with a face routine video. So I'm just going to show you guys what are the things that I put on my face on a daily basis. So um, because I've been requested many times to do a updated face routine video. So as you know, since I've moved uh, from Singapore, basically my face routine has changed a lot. So let me go ahead and show you guys what are the things that I put before my makeup. So as many of you know, winter can be really hard on the skin and very drying. So for me, I've, um, I've been looking for, you know, products that, that, you know, is kind of like oily, but at the same time doesn't give you that greasy feel. Um, face cream and I've been using this for the past two months over and I really love it. Uh, this is an oil based uh, face cream. It's a light creamy face cream with high content of red rose, real rose oil, not red sorry, real rose oil and it has uh, rejuvenating properties of pomegranate and uh, you know rose hip, seed oil, raspberry and all that good stuff. So I've been using this. Um, basically what I do is after shower, I split some of this uh, face facial toner. Just split some, um, you know, just to moisten up my face. And then I put on just a little bit of this all over the face. And then whatever's left on the, you know, on my fingers, I'll just smooth it around my eye area. Because as you all know, it can be very drying. And if you do not take care of your, you know, uh, skin around the eye, you can have premature aging, fine lines and all that stuff. So that's what I usually do as my, you know, moisturizing morning routine. And then I let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes, you know, let the product sit on my face so while that's going on i put on a lip balm just a regular you know vaseline lip balm so that my lips are moisturized so now let's move on to the foundation and concealing now for the foundation um usually i alternate between these three products okay anas sheer glow foundation and i'm in the shade cardix okay and that's like medium dark three and I also use the L'Oreal True Match um, Super Blendable Makeup and this has SPF 17 sunscreen so that's quite good and I'm in the shade Caramel Beach W7 and then I also been you know using Revlon Colorstay and I am in the shade Toast and this is for combination oily skin as you know, I do have uh, that oiliness, but I noticed during winter somehow I get a bit of dryness. I think it's very typical for those who have combination skin when you are in this kind of a climate. So for my foundation, primer, concealing and also powder application, I just use this one brush and this is MAC 109. I know this is a contouring brush, uh, MAC yeah, face contouring brush, but I use this as a multi-purpose brush. Uh, let me show you guys how I apply the NARS Sheer Glow foundation because I'm feeling like using this today. So again, I'm just going to use, I'm going to pour the product onto the back of my hand. Just a little bit will do. I've noticed that um, in comparison to using a pump, uh, probably, the, you know, the MAC uh, Studio Fix foundation pump, I probably use like one and a half or so. Um, but that's only because I'm using a natural hair bristle brush so it tends to soak up the product even more but uh, yeah so anyway so I just take the product onto the brush and I will do swirly motions and put it on to my face I really like the way how th this brush particularly, this application, this method of application gives a airbrush kind of a feel because it really covers up and also, you know, I've noticed that if you use your fingers somehow or other, you know, it, they, it, it just leaves, how should I say, um, it's not as even when you apply it on. I've noticed that, or oh, maybe it's the way I put it on. So yeah, I prefer using this brush.
So that's done. Now I'm going to put on my concealer. And uh, my favorite concealer is from MAC and it's the Moisture Cover Select. And this is uh, NC44. I know this is a limited edition. This came out with the um, Mickey Contractor collection. However, uh, previously I was using the NW35. But uh, the, the problem with NW35 is that after a while it just turns grey. So I noticed that with a yellow or a salmony base um, concealer, it really works well with my skin tone and also my um, bluish, you know, under eye circles. I know with this camera you can't really see, but uh, to me, I've I know that I have some darkness under my inner part of my eye, under eye area. So I'm using the same brush and I'm just going to spread out the concealer. So now to set my under eye, you know, the concealer and just a bit of, uh, you know, to brighten up the areas that I want some brightness, I'm going to go ahead and use the um, medium dark natural and shimmer mineralized skin finish from MAC. I got this like maybe two or three years ago and it has, and it's still, I've not really used much of it as you can see. So using the same brush, I'm just going to go under my eye area and set the concealer and on the bridge of my nose and also my chin. Just to do basic contouring, um, to just to give some definition and also I've noticed that with my foundation application, somehow with the discoloration, hyperpigmentation discoloration I have, um, it tends to like have a bit of like when you see it in an angle, you know, you can see that I have foundation on. So to get rid of that, this is one tip that I found that really works and I've used it on my clients also and that's to use a darker powder and uh, a darker shade powder, sorry. So this is deep dark mineralized skin finish also from MAC using the same brush. Just going to take a little bit of the product and I'm going to do like I would, I'm going to contour my face like I would usually contour, okay? And I'm also going to apply this product just near my jawline and under this jawline area, okay? And then I'm also going to apply some of it onto the temples, more like an E basically. Uh, as you can see, I don't, you know, set my foundation. That's only because I really like the um, dewy finish that this NARS Sheer Glow foundation gives. So uh, I just keep it as that uh, and then it just has that very nice dewy, you know, not so powdered kind of a face and I like it like this. So I'm back now. I've already done my eye makeup, blusher and lips. So yeah, so this is pretty much what I usually do on a daily basis almost, you know, like Mondays to Fridays and then weekends, I kind of like give a break to my skin. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to know more about this product or so, you know, if you have a question about it, just leave it in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!